What's going on guys for Complex News, I'm Speedy Mormon coming at you straight from the Mama Gallery in Los Angeles, California. And I'm joined by none other than Kobe Bryant. What's going on? What's going on, man? So I know in the crib you have this budding memorabilia room. I read online that you have a whole bunch of your keepsakes from your career. And I wanted to know uh, if, you know, family's safe, of course, but God forbid there was a fire in that room and you only had time to grab one thing out of that memorabilia room, what would that one thing be? One thing? Um, the thing that I'm closest to. The, the, whatever's right there. Whatever I'm closest to. So if the rings That's were on it. that side, you wouldn't reach through the fire to grab, you're just going with the... Nah, I'd go with whatever I'm closest to and get my family out safely. Get up out of there. Yeah, because the, the, the rings have been won. The championships have been won. The, the records have been made, right? We keep those things just to, just to have them, right? Yeah. They're good keepsakes, but it's not... That's not the definition of the moment, right, right. you know Having what I mean? It physically it, isn't yeah, always it, everything. It's done. Yeah. So you are a former Complex cover star many, many years ago, and uh, in the piece, you spoke with our founder about what he called these Forrest Gump moments, or what you described as how the hell did I get here moments. Mm -hmm. And um, at the time, you said uh, the Beijing Olympics dining hall, when you were looking around and seeing a bunch of other famous athletes, yeah. was that moment. Here we are eight years later. What's that Forrest Gump or that how the hell did I get here moment for you today? Well, today it's kind of sitting here um, wondering how I can be so at peace with not playing the game. If you'd asked me that question back then, I said, there's no way. I mean, I'll always have that itch to go play, right? But I don't. I mean, you gotta, gotta wonder, you know, how did I get to this point? And it's a great place to be. Because to be. as, as a retired athlete, the last thing you want is still have that burning desire to go out there and right, play. Still play. You know what I mean? So, and that's a problem a lot of players these days have. They yeah. don't know maybe when to hang it up or they're still holding on to that just a little bit. Well, I mean, you think about it. If you've been playing a game for the majority of your life, the game has essentially become your life, right? So walking away from it is, is, is kind of like a death, right? So, you know, it, it, it's, it's a process to accept that and to be comfortable with that and to be able to let it go and move on. Definitely. So outside of hoops, I know you're a big storytelling guy. And yeah. uh, I saw this uh, photo on the Players Tribune and you were at Kobe Studios on the day of your last game. And uh, behind you, there's four photos on the wall. J.K. Rowling, Steve Jobs, Walt Disney, and the fourth picture is cut off so you can't see who it is. Mm -hmm. I've been, this question has been burning. Who is that fourth person? John Williams. John Williams. John Williams. Okay. And then there's actually another photo of Michael Jackson. Oh, so there's five? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So is that like your Mount Rushmore plus one of inspiration? Yeah, what we do in the office is we have a, a, a hall, um, which we call the Hall of Muse, which are all the muses of the people that work at Kobe Inc. You know, everybody's individual muse is hung up on the wall just to remind ourselves every single day um, of that inspiration and every day trying to live up to that attention to detail. Uh, so, you know, we try to surround ourselves with that. So I know you said you were going to animate your very last, uh, your very last game and your kind of your story. What can we look forward to from Kobe Studios in terms of film or shorts? Well, or I think the first thing you'll see is, is the piece that I've been working on with uh, Glenn Keane, who's one of the greatest animators of all time, in our process of animating my dear basketball letter, my retirement letter I did on Players Tribune. That's probably the first piece that you're going to see, and uh, it'll actually be scored by John Williams. Okay. And uh, somebody that's on your Mount yes, Rushmore plus yeah. one wall. Right. So I get to work with these amazing, amazing, amazing um, artists in Glenn Keane and John Williams. And so that'll be an animated short. And then we'll progress from there. You know, we'll have novels, we'll have uh, films. Um, but you know, all those things take time, right? You have to, you can't skip steps. You can't rush something out there. You have to make sure it's done right. So shifting gears a little bit, uh, in preparation for this interview, I came across a petition, and the petition was to have you replace Abraham Lincoln on the $5 bill. Oh, God. And to paraphrase a little bit, it said something along the lines of, uh, Obama, Kobe is your brother, Abraham Lincoln is not your brother, he's already on the penny, give it to Kobe. <laughs> what are your thoughts on that? I think that's wildly hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. It said something like, uh, <laughs> Uh, Abraham Lincoln did his job so that Kobe can be on the cover of 2K17 That's Legends hilarious. Edition. Get him off the five. That's connecting dominoes. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> but I think honestly, it only has it only has three signatures on the petition. So, and yeah. it's looking for 100,000. So it's nah, kind of short I, right I, now. I probably won't get there. Yeah, I doubt it. Um, I doubt but it. still, uh, to have three is pretty impressive. Yeah, I, yeah. Was, impre I was impressed. Yeah. It's... And my last question for you, man. You did music. You've done. Uh, you know, you're doing Kobe Studios, you're investing. Um, you played a little bit of basketball in your day. You've done a lot. What is that one thing that Kobe Bryant will not do? Kobe Bryant will never do what? 
be complacent. Never. It just won't happen. I mean, it have to work, have to learn, have to improve. Uh, being complacent is something that would just never happen. Kobe Bryant, never stagnant, always moving. Always. Always. Kobe, thank you so much. You got it, man.